Hello, hello, guys. First off, guess who wrote the script after recording half of the video and then deciding to delete it and write out something more legible than my nonsense blabber about Animal Crossing and my villages? But I'm hoping you would guys, you guys would like a video of two weeks in Animal Crossing, maybe? Mm -hmm. Anyways, cutting short before I go on a tangent, what cute villages I have, let's get back to the video at hand. Firstly, the book I'm referencing is Vincent van Gogh of Kręgu Sztuki. Translated from Polish, it means in the turn of art, I believe. I'm not the best at Polish, so if any Polish viewers that could translate it better, please do. Filming this and actually drawing, well, that was that was hard because I couldn't see the full drawing and it turned out lumpy, lumpy, tompy. <laughs> totally not my lack of understanding on how this the skull anatomy works. Totally not that, guys. Like, nope. And something that I've recently found that was like amazing is a wonderful art channel that I watched yesterday and it was recommended to me by one of my art school friends. So the channel is called Art Prof and the interesting thing about the, the channel is it's created by an art professor who teaches free online classes straight up on YouTube which is like maze balls. So I didn't even watch a full episode of her anatomy lessons and I already loved the lesson. It was I, I I wouldn't say per se that I wouldn't say per se I wouldn't say that I learned like extremely a lot but I did learn a few like an, interesting and good facts so definitely go check it out uh, I'll leave the link in her description if you would like to so yeah uh, now I am very sorry for the schedule being slightly wonky. I had art practice in school for the past two weeks and I needed a small recharge. Hope you don't mind. If you would die, if you guys would be interested in the works I did as in painting and drawing I, I did while in practice, I'd gladly show them and speak about the experience, the pros, the cons, uh, if you guys would like. I personally wouldn't say they are the best drawings, but some of them really had a fun touch of meanness. Not meanness, but like me meanness. So yeah. Um, in a few seconds, I will start explaining perspective, which is the bane of any artist's experience. If you ask any art student about perspective, I bet you like I'm kind of broke, so I'm not gonna bet you like thousands of dollars, but like five cents that they will groan in agony of how it hurts to draw perspective. <laughs> like one lesson you even think, damn, I got them, I know how to do perspective, and the next you're just like what 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 is that? What should I do? Every lesson was like that. <laughs> so great, I can stop my rambling and actually explain. Uh, perspective and proportions are for me at least it's the hardest thing to do. So I will be inserting a better quality video on the side on how perspective is drawn with cubes. Right here, uh, it was drawn appropriate. I'm not a master of perspective, let's, add, let's get that out of the way, so please take everything with a grain of salt. First off, we created a horizon line and mark a dot. That represents the part where your lines should intersect. Then we draw the line of where you want your, cu your cube's line to be. After that, you draw a line towards a dot. Depending on the angle of your line, that will change how the cube looks. Just watch the video, I'll try to explain my best. Then we draw how wide the cube will look. Uh, na -na -na. 
what else? Put in the left and have a cube look. Then we draw how wide we want this cube to be, and using them, we create the top or the bottom, depending on the height of the cube. The height of a cube is in. I am not Englishing today. <laughs> pretty much how you do it. Just watch the video, it's way more explanatory than explaining it in words. Uh, I, I really... Uh, isn't it wonky? It's wonky. Mm, I don't like wonky things. They're very wonky, I'm sorry guys, this is not the best cube drawing. But... It's, oh, blue. But it's like... But, general idea of it now looking back i can see a lot of mistakes like corners aren't exactly the best but that's basically the whole idea what you're seeing on the screen is probably you know i really like drawing big noses i don't know i are just very characteristic after this video we'll see the actual drawing of it like the, the one that van gogh did to painting and I really liked how the woman looked. Her lips are very beautiful, FYI. <laughs> Damn, I'm just, I'm simping over painting. That's, that's fun. <laughs> Sorry, I did not do her lips justice at all. But I did my best. Later on, you will see me doing things with pencils and I've, I've recently, fell in love with pencils all over again. They create this sort of childish wonder. At least for me, I don't know how about you guys. And I forgot to tell you the most important part. This is my filler sketch... draw one page a day sketchbook or two. <laughs> so I won't be filling it in exactly a month because I have no idea how many pages there are. But I will definitely try to draw every day like one or two pages as in one or two spreads because I, I count those pages like one layout which, which is not it is not correct <laughs> so yeah uh, I, I did not like how the shading turned out with pencil so I was like hey what if I f okay you gotta be PG-13 here what if we wreck it up with some pencils and actually it turned very good. I, I kid you not, the hair reminds me of Ariel from the Disney Princess franchise. She used to be my favorite out of all the Disney princesses, Ariel and Aurora, until, until, till, till Rapunzel came in and I was like, damn, we booked for this. The way they created Flynn Rider, oh, that. That is worth simping for. Right, oh, right here, I'm doing a little blushy blush. I, I thought I could like rub it out. It turned out that I couldn't. Uh, so I had to just like use my technique, my non existent technique. Okay, what am I doing? Blush. I, I want. <laughs> I honestly really like the way the girls do their like blush. I, I like it. I don't know why. I really like the way they do their blush and their lips. It's really cute. Some yellow highlights. The cheekbone area. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about Disney princesses. Oh, and now my favorite Disney princesses are Mulan and Tiana. So, and I don't know why. I honestly don't know why, I just really like them. They're very fun. Like Tiana, the girl is badass. Mulan, she had the highest kill count in all of Disney. Like, girl, girl. <laughs> I am feeling so much like a um, LA YouTuber though. LA is one of the farthest things. I couldn't afford LA, honestly. I couldn't afford a McDonald's right now. <laughs> I don't know how I am even thinking of LA. Now, I know what you're thinking, blue. Why do you add blue to something where it's clear, clearly should be pink? Well, 
the answer to that is, I don't know. I just want to say I had blue. <laughs> yeah, the hair, I love the hair. I don't like how the hair turned out with the piece, but like on its own, the hair looks pretty damn good. I like it. I'm not good at drawing hair, so do not judge me a lot. But it's, it's, it's not bad. Here is where I fricked up. It's where I started crossing instead of like following the natural curve of the hair. It's a my shadow. I usually prefer not using black, as in like the color black in painting, so I, I thought maybe that's what I should do in this. However, I did use black and it turns out it's not that bad. Now, I immediately, I'm immediately stating these are not uh, artist grey pencils, these are literally pencils meant for children in school, so definitely don't be worried about that. Do you need like some high grade pencils, just grab any pencil pack and that will be okay. And here I'm drawing a bit of pen. Again, the pen is from Ikea. Which is... the pen isn't the best. Like, I've definitely had better pens than this, but it's, it's good. I like it. Now, I, I don't think... do not copy me on this, because this is not anatomically correct. This was... I, I found this a week or two ago. Oh dear. That was a long time ago. <laughs> a long, long time ago. I do like how the left foot, the left of the right foot, the one on its tippy toes, I like that, how that foot turned out. It's really like, like, damn ba, damn ba, I'm here. <laughs> I've been watching too much TikTok and I really like that. Damn ba, damn ba. Oh yeah, what am I drawing here? I, 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 do, I shouldn't do this where I just re-watch the video after half, after a week passes by because I have no idea what to tell you. And the script was too short for this. Okay, I'm drawing some sort of wizard. Wizard, yeah, yeah. I'm also terrified of drawing clothing because I have no idea how to draw clothing. Drawing a person, a person, a person. Okay. This is what, you know, I f honestly feel like I'm just watching a normal YouTube video with you guys and just reacting to it. What the, oh, I was, here I was actually drawing that nose. It did not turn out good. But practice makes perfect. Eh, that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I should not do that. I should not sit. <laughs> hmm, Harry Potter reference, and maybe not today. What am I? What am I doing? No. The phrase "What am I doing?" actually comes up in life, in my life, at least. Too much for comfort. I'm making dinner. What am I doing? I'm making my dog treats. What? hell am I doing with my time? Making my dog treats. Now that, 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 that time was spent worthy because she loved those. So, what am I drawing? <laughs> this is like a, a gift from rapping. Like, what am I drawing? Let's see what I'm drawing. It's weird. Can't even see the top. Bad film quality. Oh. My Anyways guys, the video is coming to an end. Uh, I'm sorry for being a bit negative in this video. Uh, today I had a little fight with my mom. I, 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 I didn't feel the best. So sorry if I'm being a bit self-deprecating and a bit negative. I do try to not be that. But I'm afraid that it's not gonna happen today. Hopefully, I didn't make you too sad. I really do want this place to be a happy, positive place. So have a nice day, guys. Keep creating. Even if you feel like you can't do it, you can. It just needs time.
Bye guys. Love you and see you soon.